Whistler, you out there? Loud and clear. By the magic of GPS tracking, I'd place you at the transport terminal south side of 14th and Wesley. Did sir enjoy his flight? The cabin service was lousy. Where do your contact place the Von Espers? Nested up at the waterfront, somewhere in the warehouse district. You'll need to get on the docks after that. It's a straight run. Anything else I need to know? I've got your back. I'll contact you when you're nearing the target.
Yeah. You're nearly there now. Business is gonna pick up real soon. Anything I should watch for? Keep your eyes open for the Vine Esper leader. Big bastard, so I hear. Vicious, too. Okay, I'll take it from here. Only break silence if you need to. Check.
You got that shipment loaded yet? Yeah, man, ready for transit. I took a sneaky peek inside. You tripping? You was told no looking. Shit, we all were. You know who we're working for, man. The Palantine do not screw around. Last guy that pissed them off found floating in the East River. They find out they're not gonna fire your ass. You'll be a dead man. Hey, the edge of the crate was loose, so I had to bang it down, you know. Just say I caught a glimpse inside. And? And nothing. I didn't see Jack, man. Some evil freaking shit in there, though. <laughs> Stink made my eyes bug out on me. I didn't want to stay near it any longer than I got to. Bad vibes in a box, man. You do the job in split, huh? Nope. I didn't even close it up. Hell, let some other sucker do it. I'm out of here anyway. Yeah! You take care, man.
blade. What the hell was that? One less suckhead in the world. I think we've stumbled across some serious shit here. What? Pull up the last 24 hours cargo transit logs for this port. Run a search for any shipments matching known Palantine holdings and fronts. No problem. Searching. What have the Palantine got to do with this? They're shipping something weird into the country. I overheard two boneheads talking in the warehouse about it, so I figured I'd check out the freighter. Nothing listed here. Hold on, checking out gone freight manifests. They're covering their tracks. Nearly took me down with that ship. I think I've got it. There's an unlisted shipment leaving the terminal tonight. No manifest, no destination, just clearances up the ass. It's gotta be it. Trace it. The Palantine would never involve himself in something this messy unless it was real important. I'm on it. It's scheduled to leave real soon, so you... I've got a train to catch.
Just listen, don't talk. This line is not secure. I repeat, this line is not secure. I got a lot of company about to arrive, so I'm out of talk time. We've been set up. Get the hell off the train now. Just go and... Whistler! Whistler! Whistler, you out there, old man? I'm afraid Mr. Whistler's indisposed at the moment. Perhaps I can be of service. Who the hell are you? Where's Whistler? My name is Mannheim. I represent the House of Palatine. And don't concern yourself with him. He's quite unharmed. For now, anyway. What do you want? Good question. Someone like you. You're out of your freaking mind. Why? We're all the same to you, are we not? Mere fodder for your crusade. Is the enemy of my enemy not also my friend? Meaning? It's quite simple, really. We have a little task for you. It should pose few problems for an individual with your peculiar gifts. In this area, we'll find what appears to be a Buddhist temple. In fact, it's nothing of the sort. It's a Dragon Eddy safe house. Inside there, you will find their leader. Why me? You seem to have torn the place up pretty good already. That was an unfortunate accident in transit. A crate insufficiently fastened. Nothing you need to concern yourself with. So why should I do this little favor for you, friend? Do it, and we will consider releasing Mr. Whistler unharmed. And you expect me to take your say-so on that? Not particularly, but then again it hardly matters, does it? While negotiation is truly one of the great joys in my life, I don't have the time, and you, Blade, don't have the luxury. Screw you, man, I'm...
do love a circus. And what is a circus without a clown? Dragon Nelly. What are you doing here, Daywalker? Playing detective? Counting the carcasses as they pile up? You turn over a rock, you find slime underneath. No biggie. Or perhaps an assassin? Is that how you envision yourself? What is it with you assholes? Do you always talk in riddles, or is it just me? <laughs> Let us speak plainly, then. We are aware of your little arrangement for the Palantine. Nothing happens here day or night without our knowledge. I trust you weren't naive enough to take that offer at face value. It bought me some time. You have less time than you can possibly imagine. There are worse threats to consider than Palantine Retribution. The thing in the crate? <laughs> Bravo. What is it? It has no name. It is ancient and powerful. Even now, when it turns in its half-sleep, they cannot control it. Soon it will awaken, and this, all this, will be laid waste. They? You mean the Palantine, right? But why? They wish to displace us within the House of Erebus. Their credo is that force alone dictates authority. They have no sense of tradition, no class. It has the power to support their reign of terror. You said they can't control it, though. For a while, perhaps. <laughs> well, there are always other cities. So how do we stop it? We? <laughs> this is your problem. You are the wild card here, Blade. Oh, yeah. I just remembered I'm supposed to wax your worthless ass. That's the spirit. Unfortunately, I'm unable to return the compliment. This projection before you is depressingly insubstantial. We would have stopped it already had you not interfered at the docks. The Palantine should be congratulated for engineering your appearance. It was an eventuality we had not foreseen. This just gets better and better. I'm pleased to see the irony of the situation. However, our mutual problem remains the Palantine. They are keeping your associate, Mr. Whistler, as insurance against you moving against them, correct? Where are they keeping them? Close to home. But the Palantine building downtown? Should you wish to say in this city, I suggest you forget your friend. It gains in strength every hour, and it... Is Whistler there? If you face the demon unprepared, you will die. The curator of the city museum is a familiar of mine. He has a trinket for you. A token which should help you in your fight. Last chance, suckhead. Yes. But if you go, you will simply be playing into their hands, don't you understand? How do I get in? Follow the sewers. You can work your way upwards from the basement once you have a key. But to get that will not be easy. There are ancient catacombs beneath the building, older than this city, and well guarded. They should be your first destination. I'll hit the museum later. Almost a thank you. That sentimental streak will be your undoing, Blaine.
took you? I've been busy. You've been polishing the floor with your ass all this time? Hell no. This place is some kind of goddamn United Nations for bloodsuckers. Tell me about it. Some Haitian suckheads in town, they've been setting up some goddamn freak show ceremony upstairs. Faustinas. Voodoo suckheads. Kobe Jitsu, too. You mind explaining? I'll fill you in later. We're going to need some transport out of here. You think you can fix it without me having to rescue your ass again? Upstairs is the ceremonial chambers. Weird shit is up. So you watch your tail, I'll watch mine.
Hang on in there, man.
So, are you gonna explain this to me, or what? What? This whole... It's a war. A civil war in the House of Erebus. The Palantine are trying to take out the Dragon Eddy. Great. Let them kill each other. Let God sort them out. They had us take out the Von Espers at the docks because they knew the Dragon Eddy were onto them. They needed a distraction. Why, they transported that thing from the waterfront. Yeah. So what is it? How do we kill it? Dragon Eddie said the curator at the museum is a familiar of his. He's got something to help us. You buying that bullshit? Could be a trap, anything. No, I don't think so. The Dragon Eddie don't scare easy, and he was scared all right. And in case you didn't notice, that thing kicked my ass back there. Don't sweat it, it was surprises all. Next time, amigo, payback. Yeah, but we're going to need an edge. You should have seen Chinatown. It was on the news. They're blaming it on triad gangbangers at the New Year's celebrations. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, I'm tracking that shipment that derailed in Chinatown. Should have a destination real soon. They were moving it out of the city? Looks that way. I doubt they'd be stupid enough to keep it downtown too long. You serious about hitting the museum? It's getting dark. As I said, we're gonna need any edge we can get. I'll keep working. I think I'm close on getting that new toy finished. Talk to me. We're too late. This place is crawling. The curator? If he's still here, there's no way he's alive. I'll keep looking. Maybe he stashed whatever he was holding somewhere. Okay. If you need an assist, let me know.
What is this? On the first night, it came as a child and murdered. When day came, the men searched for it but found nothing. On the second night, it came as an ancient and slaughtered all. Men, children, animals. In the day, it rested again. And the wise one said that should it rise that night, there would be no day tomorrow. Only darkness, cold and unending. Party time.
You looking for an out? Good timing, man. This heavy rain got the water levels up all over the sewer system. Storm drains, huh? You got it. Like a goddamn river. Got a boat moored and ready. Get yourself down and out of there. I'm on it.
Okay, Whistler, I'm out of the sewers. I'm in some kind of industrial area. Where the hell am I? We need to be at the city limits. This is it. I tracked the shipment back to this place. There's a lot of ground to search here. You got some place more specific? Palantine Aerospace. Suckhead's got the damn claws into defense contracts. It's an assembly plant, engines, airframes. Pretty huge. Can't see how you'd miss it. Guards? Yeah, well-armed suckheads, automatics, and body armor, full SWAT kit. There's more of them during the day, though. Easy for you to say. There's quite a welcome party here. Hold off till morning? No. They can move it again, or... Or what? We take it down tonight, that's all. Amen to that. How's that UV cannon coming? It's pretty much there. I still haven't fixed the overheating, though. Get it. I think we're gonna need it. It's gonna take me some time to get it to you. You know where I'm gonna be. I'll leave a few stragglers for you. I'll get there ASAP.
pleasant surprise. After playing such an important role in our little enterprise, I'm glad you've decided to stick around for the finale. It ain't gonna work. And why is that? You shouldn't believe everything you hear, Blade. I'm sure that that arrogant fool Dragon Eddy told you we can't control the Night Beast. Well, we seem to have a little difficulty so far, don't you think? Night Beast? It's a little melodramatic, I know, but we simply can't call it an it, can we? Especially when it's going to usher in a whole new age for us. You have no idea what it's capable of, do you? I read the book. Still don't believe the hype, though. Imagine, Blade. A world of eternal night. No more skulking in the shadows. No need to hide anymore. It will be our world. Our world and ours alone. No more idiot humans to deal with. They can take their place in the cattle trucks in their natural place at last. And as for you, well, <laughs> there's no place for a daywalker in a sunless world, is there? You will be obsolete, an unpleasant memory. Still in control, Mannheim? But for how long? Kill him! Kill him now!
took your time, old man. Well, I figured I'd give you a little fun. Let you be the prettiest girl at the dance. I think it's dancing days are over. Amen to that.
Yeah. 